Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you my everyday makeup routine and I'm using products that are natural and cruelty free and products that just really have a lot of nourishing ingredients because I have really dry skin and I found that these really help hydrate and heal my skin. So let's get right into it. The first thing I do before I even think about putting makeup on my face is I apply an oil to my skin. And the one I've been loving recently is this one from Evan Healy and this is the Rose Hip Treatment Facial Serum. I actually got this little tiny sample of it at the Natural Products Expo a couple months back and I've loved it and I've just like been nursing this little tiny sample for the longest time and trying to use only a little bit of it. But I found that my skin just really likes the ingredients in it. There's rosehip oil and a lot of other really nourishing oils in it. So what I do with the Evan Healy stuff is I use it in conjunction with their hydrosol. So a hydrosol is made by taking plants and distilling them in water for a really long time. And then from there you get this really powerful hydrosol that has all of the plant benefits, benefits in it and in turn you know, your skin gets all those benefits. And the way that you use these is you take a little bit of the serum. Look at how brightly colored that is. You can tell that there's just so many antioxidants in it. You take the serum and then you spray some of the hydrosol on it like that. See, I'm almost out of the stuff. And then you just press it into your skin. I like to make sure that I'm concentrating this under my eyes because I find that that's an area of my skin that gets really dry. But I'll really just press it all over my skin. And then I'm gonna just let that dry for a little bit before I move on to the rest of my stuff. While I'm letting my serum dry on my skin, I'm gonna apply some of this Dr. Bronner's Body Balm on my lips. Just kinda like use it as a lip balm because I am gonna be applying a lipstick today, so I wanna make sure my lips are really hydrated too. Okay, I'm not super psyched with how my hair looks right now, but we're just gonna go with it because I need it out of my face. Okay, so after I apply my moisturizer to my skin, I go in with my foundation. I'm actually using the same product for my foundation and my concealer, and it's this RMS Beauty Uncover Up, and I'm actually in the second lightest color, which never happens. I'm usually the lightest color in everything. Um, I'm in color 11. I wanted to buy this product for a really long time, but I was on the fence about it for a while because it is a little bit pricey. I think it's like 30 to $35, but honestly, I'm really glad that I got it. I find that when I use it the correct way, I don't use a ton of the product, so I feel like it's gonna last a long time. And I love that it's packaged in glass. There's no plastic at all in the packaging, and it's just a really great product. There's a lot of really nourishing ingredients in it, and I find that my skin really loves it. It's not a full cover foundation by any means, but I like that I can still see my freckles through the foundation. I like the more natural look anyway, and I feel like you could build it up if you really wanted to. So like I said before, I'm color 11, but if I would have purchased this online, I would have gotten the lightest color and it would have been way too light for my skin. So if you're interested in buying this, I would highly recommend finding a store locally to you and going and trying it on your skin for yourself. I found this really cute little organic and natural beauty store in Laguna Beach and the store is called Roots Beauty. The owner, Laura, was really, really nice and she color matched my skin for me. First thing you need is a fluffy foundation brush. This one is my favorite one. It's from Alima Pure. It's a thin... It's a synthetic brush, obviously, and it's just really thick and fluffy, so as you can see, the bristles are really packed together and it does a really great job at buffing out the foundation. So what you do is you take your little foundation and you just swirl the brush in it for a little bit. You really don't need that much product. I'm kind of going to use this much for now. And then from there, after you have the little bit of foundation on your brush, you're just going to buff it into your skin. I like to use circular motions because I feel like it just works. I don't know. I'm not a makeup person, but this works for me. You know, I might be a little bit overexposed right now because I'm right next to a window, but hopefully you guys can see that I had a lot of redness around my nose and I do have dark circles under my eyes. I found that my dark circles have gotten a lot better since I've been eating healthier, 
but I also have them just because my eyeballs are so big it leaves a shadow underneath my eyes and that's kind of like what I have to live with but anyway this product definitely does a great job at covering up the redness while leaving my skin dewy looking and feeling and allowing my um, freckles to show through too. So that's what I'm working with right now. I have some blemishes on my chin right now so I'm just going to take a little bit of the product on my finger and tap it into that area that needs a little bit more coverage. So now I'm using it as the concealer. Okay, and now I'm going to conceal around my nose a little bit. So now I'm going to go to my under eyes. And as you can see, when I get this product on my finger, I'm not like getting a ton of it. I'm just tapping it a couple times to get it on my finger. And then I just gently tap it under my eyes. And I'm going to put it on my lids too because I kind of use it as like a, you know, concealer for the top of my lids as well. Like I said, I really love this product. I find it's really hydrating, but I also probably wouldn't use it unless I use a serum on my skin first because my skin is so dry. I think that it would be hard to blend in if my skin wasn't a little bit slippery from the serum, if that makes sense, or at least hydrated from the serum. So those two things in combination, the Rose Hip Treatment Facial Serum and then this product work really well for me together. So from there, I'm going to use my absolute favorite Alima Pure Powder. So this is actually a powder foundation. They have a loose powder foundation, but I just really like the convenience of having the compact in my purse with me. Um, this is the one that I've had since I did that last video. And as you can see, I hit pan, but I still have a lot of product. But they were kind enough to send me a new refill. So if you guys haven't seen that last video, this is their um, compact and they sell refills so that you don't have to throw out your whole compact when you're done with it. You just have to recycle the little tin pan, which is awesome because it's less waste and you guys know I love that. So I'm going to show you, even though I have some more of this left, I'm going to show you how easy it is for me to switch out the little pan. So the color I have is Aspen and I think it might be a shade darker than the color I have in here. I think the color I have right now is Birch, I want to say. So this is their beautiful packaging. I'm not getting paid to show you guys this, but I just love this. So anyway, um, this is the little... This is the little compact. It comes in a little plastic container, but again, it's so much less packaging than a lot of other foundations, you know, with compacts that you have to toss the whole thing. So I have my open compact right here, my new thing, and then it just drops right in because it's magnetic. So yay, I got a fresh new compact. Okay, that was, yeah, super easy. So the reason I love this stuff is because it doesn't have any harsh ingredients in it. There is an ingredient that I'll put right here because I can't remember it off the top of my head that's in a lot of mineral foundations and it was in a mineral foundation that I used in high school that totally wrecked my skin, broke me out because I have really sensitive skin. So I appreciate that that ingredient is not in this product. This is just like a really great pressed foundation. It has rosehip oil. You guys know I love my rosehip oil. It's in a lot of products that I use because my skin just loves it. So anyway, once I put my RMS foundation and concealer on, I just use a tiny bit of this on the same Alima Pure brush and I just kind of go, you know, a little bit on my under my eyes to kind of set it and just on my t-zone so the highlighter that i have again is another rms product because i'm obsessed with this line and i love that a lot of their products can be used in multiple ways so for me someone who doesn't have a ton of makeup this is all the makeup i have and then if you guys have seen my desk tour video the makeup that's in my drawer in combination with this is all the makeup I have. I don't have a ton of makeup, I don't need a ton of makeup, but I do love that these products serve multi-purposes. So, the Living Luminizer is, I think, like a quilt product from them. People love it, even people that aren't really into natural makeup, natural beauty. I take this product and I'm just gonna 
put it on my fingers I don't need very much and I kind of just apply it up here and I don't apply it too preciously I just kind of dab it in and it gives me a nice little ooh, a nice little glow I apologize if I'm looking at myself in the mirror I need to be looking here all the time but it's distracting when I'm trying to apply makeup and there's you know a video of myself right there okay so now I'm going to the other side and just applying it right here let's see is that even I just love this stuff because I never have been able to get skin to get my skin looking this dewy because I have really dry skin and I don't like things that are really shimmery or have like glitter chunks in them that's definitely not my style um, I like the more natural look and I feel like this is just such a beautiful youthful natural glow so I'm all about that and then I take a little tiny bit of it and I just apply it just to the very center like the bottom part of my lid I don't apply it all over I just do the very center to kind of add a little tiny bit of highlight highlight um, right in the center of my lid and then sometimes I'll like put a little bit up here too Just like that the blush that I'm gonna be using today is also from RMS Beauty and it's a lip to cheek stain in the color promise I'm not gonna be using this on my lips today because I'm gonna be using a different lipstick but again I just use my fingers for this you need a tiny tiny amount I just kind of go like this and let's see if I can do this in the viewfinder um I might need my compact too but actually I'm gonna use my compact too and I tend to like blend it back a little bit too okay I'm definitely not a makeup guru guys you know this but these are products that I really love and so I'm happy to share them with you and then also when I was at Roots Beauty Laura put this product on my lids a little bit too and I would have never thought to do that before but I really liked how it looked so I'm just taking a little tiny bit on my finger and then putting it kind of in the crease a little bit to just add a little bit of color there not a ton um, but just a little bit and I think it looks pretty especially when I um, add a little bit of smudged eyeliner too I'll show you Currently, I'm using these two products on my eyebrows. They're definitely not holy grail products at all. They're just what I have and what I'm using up. I'm using this brow liner by a brand called Zuzu. Zuzu Luxe, maybe? It's all rubbed off. I just got it at Mother's Market, which is like a natural grocery store close to where I live. And then after I use that, I use this Tarte tinted brow gel to kind of fill in any other gaps and just you know make sure that my brows aren't going anywhere okay now I'm done with my eyebrows they look a little bit more even and definitely a lot fuller which is the look that I like I'm going to do a little bit of eyeliner and I'm using this eyeliner by Pacifica it's in the color fringe again I just got this at my local natural health food store so basically what I'm gonna do with this is just line the outside of my eyes a little bit so this little blending brush from Alima Pure is really handy for smudging it out. Um, I also use my finger a lot too, but this works well. The mascara that I've been using recently and absolutely loving is this one from 100% Pure. This is their Fruit Pigment Black Tea Mascara. And the brush looks like this. Look at look at me being a beauty guru no just kidding so the brush looks like this it's just a thick fluffy brush and I really love this formulation it's definitely a wetter consistency and it's not waterproof by any means <laughs> but it's got really clean ingredients in it so I'll kind of blink and then wiggle it up like that and I find that with this formulation Doing this helps me to make the lashes look thick um, not just long but also thick which is what I like and then I just do like a really quick coat on my bottom lashes and there's that okay so now I'm going to move on to my lips most days I don't wear 
anything on my lips except like a clear lip product like that balm that I showed you or this product which I'm almost out of and I need to reorder um, it gets stuck in here because it's like gone but it's this <laughs> this lip product and this is from an Etsy store called Soapy Lane and they have um, a bunch of different vegan body care products and this is my favorite tinted lip balm I think that I've ever tried and I just kind of randomly picked this up from a local store um, by where I live so this is what it looks like I've worn this in a ton of my recent videos but like I said this is just like totally gone so I need to reorder from them the product that I'm gonna show you guys today is my Alima pure um, lipstick so if I'm not wearing this or I'm not just wearing like this nothing on my on my lips I'm wearing this so I definitely have you know a type <laughs> I like the more rosy colors um, but again I think I showed this in like a favorites video months and months ago and there's still a lot of it left because I don't wear lipstick all the time but when I do this is my go-to one of the reasons I like this again kind of like this um, compact is that it's a really great product but it's a reusable container so when you're done with the you know lip product you just pull out the tube and then you can reorder and not have to throw away this really like nice weighty container which I love okay so let's do this I always get nervous about applying lipstick I don't wear it in my videos very often because when I'm editing I'll usually find like a big lipstick mark on my cheek or on my teeth or something. But as you can see, it applies really well. And it's nice and opaque. And look at me, I'm doing a good job. <laughs> now I can finally take down my hair. I hated my hair in that weird side braid thing. I can't, that just isn't my look. Okay. Woohoo, I feel like me now. Okay. My hair's still messy, but it always is. So this is my finished look. If I were to dress this up more, I could easily just like add a liquid eyeliner or maybe like darken my blush. So I love looks like that that can just be like easily updated a little bit. You guys know my capsule wardrobe stuff. I'm usually just very chill, but I feel like I could like dress things up if I need to, which is kind of my life right now so i love that um and i also love supporting natural and organic makeup companies especially like the smaller guys that are doing really cool stuff like this etsy store or evan healy they're based out of san diego which is in california not super close to my house but close enough for me to love them and support them um alima pure is based out of portland and rms i think is New York maybe? Anyway, I just love finding those really great products that I know that I'll be able to use for years to come and products like these that I can use in a ton of different ways. They are a little bit more pricey than stuff you'd find at the drugstore, but for me, I like to invest in my skin and my health and I use so little of these products, I feel like they're going to last me a really long time. So for me, that's what I'm into. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave me any like cool natural brands you think I'd be into in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye. Thank you.